Well, hi everybody, it's Neil Weichel with Remax with an end of the year review video for you. And uh, before I get into it, I just really hope that you get a chance to spend some time with your friends and family this holiday season. We have so much to be thankful for. And uh, I just really uh, wanna wish you uh, a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And uh, for 2022, it was quite a year in real estate. In my 31 years, I've never quite seen a year like it. We had this tremendous boomerang uh, in which the first half of the year was this frenzy and the last half of the year is, is slow and, and almost ended with a thud. So let's kind of review what happened and, and, and some ideas for 2023 that I think are, are gonna be helpful to us as we plan. Number one, at the beginning of the year in February, I sent out this video that said, uh, to buyers, why we're telling buyers not to buy right now, which was so counterintuitive to what was happening. Everybody out there was in this frenzy, oh, we got to buy before prices go up more. And uh, they were buying homes that made no sense whatsoever, poor locations, poor condition. And we were advising our buyers, hey, hold back here. This doesn't make any sense. And uh, of course, uh, in many cases, uh, buyers just kept right on buying until the interest rates started to rise. And then we had this shift that I reported on to you where things just really, really slowed down. And by summer, I said, and this proved to be true, by the end of the year, guys, in many parts of our valley, you're going to see prices right back to the beginning of the year. And I could give you dozens of examples of how that's happened. Now, because the last three months of the year have been so slow, and they've been so slow because of psychological reasons and financial ones, interest rates doubled, right? Because it's been so slow, a lot of people are, are kind of predicting gloom and doom for 2023, and I'll be clear, I am not. And the reason I'm not is because we're still in a fundamental housing shortage. Guys, I've got buyers that want to buy first-time homes, larger homes. They want to move to other areas in, in Southern California. They can't find anything. You cannot have prices go down when you don't have enough homes for sale. And that's exactly what's happened. In August and September, and especially October, the buyers pulled back because they saw rates go way up and they were nervous. They thought prices may come down. When they realized they weren't gonna crash, they started to come back in the market in the last couple of weeks. As we go into 2023, we may very well see another normal market in terms of, of balance, but one that has real legs to it, real strength to it, in which transactions go on just as they did before this crazy 2022 year. What does that mean? It means that we're gonna see homes come on the market and if they're marketed properly and priced properly, they're going to sell. And in some cases, they'll sell with multiple offers. It also means that if a home is overpriced or isn't in good condition or isn't marketed well, it's gonna sit just like so many are today. There will be parts of the country, however, where you will see major, major continued price reductions. Areas like Austin, Texas, where the median price, a friend of mine uh, works there was 18 months ago, a million dollars. Today, it's 695,000. Okay, that doesn't mean prices drop 300 grand. It means that the transactions are happening in lower price ranges there and prices are gonna keep coming down to find where the activity is. It's happening in Arizona, it's happening in Idaho, it's happening in these markets that were hyperinflated by California dollars. It's not really happening in Southern California. We have less transactions, not major, major price reductions. And that's the message for the new year. We're going to have not as many transactions maybe as we had in the past with super low interest rates, but we're gonna go back to a normal market and it's gonna be just fine. I wish you the best in the new year and look forward to talking to you then.